kids, it's Beth. Um, I know Easter's coming up, and you know I always bring a craft or something to do, having to do with Easter or other holidays, so I have a craft for you for Easter. Today, we're going to make Easter bunnies out of toilet paper rolls. Look. Now the bottom picture also has a little chick in it and I didn't have the things at home that I was gonna need. So there's some things that you're gonna need to make it and there's some things that you could have but you don't have to have. So what we need to have to make it, we need a toilet paper roll, we need glue, it can be a glue stick or the white glue that you squeeze out we're going to need scissors. We're going to need a pencil, probably. Then you are going to need something to color your toilet paper roll. So you want to decide what color you want your bunny to be. So for me, I started two bunnies. So the first one I started, I painted this orange so I'm not sure how many of you have paints or not but if you have paints and you want to use paints you can do that I am gonna say though if you're going to use paint please cover your table either with paper or something you don't have to have what I have but it's easy just cover it because we don't want paint everywhere so um, I decided I wanted to paint this one orange. I'm just using a Crayola color and I'm going to paint it. Here's a little note about painting. If you decide to paint instead of color, you're gonna have to wait for it to dry. So for that reason, See, here's my orange. I have it all painted. It's a little wet at the back, so I'm going to put it off to the side. I'm going to show you my other bunny that I've started that I've done with crayons. So much easier if you have only crayons at home. Actually, my grandson started this one. He didn't finish, so I'm going to use his. So you can use whatever you want. I'm going to make a red bunny. So I can color with a pencil crayon. That works pretty good. I could color it with a wax crayon. That also works pretty good. And you just color your whole roll until it's all colored red or whatever color you want your bunny to be. The other thing that you can do, I don't know how many of you might have felts at home. You can also use felts. So you can also color with some felts. That's another way to do it. Um, so once you have your bunny, it's all one color. Let's move it back closer to me. And here's my other bunny. I'm going to try to be um, careful with him because he's still a little bit wet. So one of the things that we need to do for bunny is the ears. So... I thought a really good way to draw ears, if you're wondering, do you know how when you go behind people and you put your fingers up like this behind their head like bunny ears? That We're going to use our two fingers to make bunny ears. So I'm going to make red bunny ears to go with my red bunny. If you don't have colored paper at home, that's okay. You can just take whatever paper you can find. And if I want to have red ears and I only have white paper, all I have to do is color my paper. That's easy too. So you can do all of this with very few supplies. It's really simple. So here we go. If I'm going to make ears now for my bunny out of this white paper that I have colored, I'm going to use my peace sign. So here's my peace sign. I'm going to put just so that only my two fingers are on the paper. Then I'm going to take a pencil 
here it is and I'm gonna cop I'm gonna just trace around my two fingers to make the bunny ears here's my bunny ears can you see that a little bit there we go next I'm going to cut out my bunny ears So that I can attach them to my tube, toilet paper, toilet paper tube. Okay, here's my ears. They look a little funny. You can fix them if you want, but not every bunny is perfect, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to trim mine a little bit though, mm -hmm. just to make it look a little bit better. There. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you can do with your bunny ears is if you want to put a white color in the middle it's easy you can do that too by just tracing one part of your finger only maybe up to the knuckle and then you make them a little bit skinnier i made two because there's two ears so here we go i'm going to cut them i have to make sure that they're smaller than the ear itself. So let's take our glue. We're going to glue that on mm -hmm. just like that. And I can cut out my other one. And I'm going to glue that one down also. There. See? Here we go, there's our bunny ears. The next thing that we want to do with our bunny ears is we wanna put them on the roll. So here's, here's the red roll. Let's try to put it that way. I am going to, there's two places you can put the ears. You can put the ears on the very back of the roll or you can put them up at the front of the roll. I kinda of like them on the front of the roll. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm going to put some glue at the bottom of my bunny ears and I want to put the glue on the part that has the color on it. So here's my glue. It's going on the bottom part of the bunny ears. Then I'm going to put it right in here. Okay. Oh, I want them to show. Okay. There's our bunny ears so far. Now, the next thing I want to do, and as you can tell in the bottom picture here, they have feet. So I'm going to make some feet. I'm going to, again, I'm going to color, oh, there's my red. I'm going to color a bit of space on a white sheet of paper. Or if you have paper at home that's colored, you can use it and you don't have to color it. But in case you don't, here's an idea. Okay, now the feet. Bunny feet, what do they look like? Hmm. I think that they can. we can use our finger to cut out the foot as well. We don't have to do the whole length of our finger though because bunny's feet aren't that, bunny's feet are not that big. So, here we go. I'm gonna put one finger down, because we're gonna to have to do two feet, so we don't have to trace the whole finger, just sort of up to here on your finger. These are gonna be my bunny feet. Let's see. There they are. It's pretty light, but I can see it good enough to cut it. And when you draw yours, you'll be able to see yours really good too. So I'm gonna cut both of them out. Like this. Here are our bunny feet. Now, the one thing that if you want to get a little fancier, you could draw kind of the bunny toes on it. And I'd use a I'd use like maybe a black, oh that's green, a black crayon or a black felt pen. So often bunny's feet look like this. 
but then they'll have little lines right there. That's kind of what the little paws look like, right? So I'm going to do that to my feet. Here we go. I'm just going to, oh, that doesn't, you might have to go over it a bit. It doesn't show very easily if you have wax crayon. But let's see. You guys should be able to see that. There we go. Oh, it's not very good. I'm actually going to use this so you can see it. I know you won't all have felt pens at home. But if you do, you can use them. Here's our bunny feet. Okay, so now what we're going to do with our bunny, let's bring our bunny back. Here's our bunny. We are going to make a little fold just at the very top, color to color. So it looks like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other foot too. Just fold it over. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to put glue on the inside, on the colored part that's turned over. We don't want glue here. We want to put our glue here. This is what's going to stick to the inside of the toilet paper tube. Okay, so here's my glue stick. I'm going to put glue. Here's some more glue. And I'm going to take this and stick it right there. And I'm going to do the same with this bunny foot. I am going to put the glue on the colored part. Now, where should I put that on here? Let's put it maybe right there. Okay. Here's our bunny. It's got two feet. I see I need to color some more red to finish him. Let's see. Let's finish this guy over here. Now what we have left to do is to make our bunny face. So there's a few ways that we can do that. It is possible to um, use a little pom-pom for the nose or pipe cleaners for the whiskers, um, but we might not have those things at home. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it, just with a Sharpie, okay? So first of all, we're gonna draw the eyes. How do you want your eyes to look? Let's see. Here's my eyes. Oh, one's way bigger than the other. Oh, well, maybe he can see better out of one eye. There's his eyeballs. Now we're going to draw a little nose. Here's his little nose. He's got a little mouth, too. And he has whiskers. There's our bunny. Now there are other things too that you could do if you have supplies at home. I have a few craft supplies at home because I always do crafts with my grandkids. So I happen to have some googly eyes. So you could put the googly eyes on instead of drawing on if you have them at home. So, I'm going to put one googly eye here. Is it going to stay? Oh, it might have trouble staying. Hmm. And I'm going to put the other one right here. Okay, so we could do that with our bunny too. Um... The other thing that I noticed on our picture, the top picture here, it shows the bunnies that have uh, pipe cleaners for whiskers. And I do have pipe cleaners here. You could use it. What I found hard when I tried this is that the pipe cleaners, it's hard to make them stick. So, the best way to make them stick would be with hot glue and that's not very safe. So it's my preference that you can just draw that on. There we go. There's our happy Easter. Happy Easter. I hope you have fun making this.